and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The saint I'm going to talk about is St. Joseph of Cupertino. St. Joseph of Cupertino was born on June 17, 1603. His parents were Felice Dessa and Francisca Panara. His father was a carpenter and died before Joseph was born. Because of some debts, the creditors drove out Joseph's mother from her home and she gave birth to Joseph in a stable. He was slow to learn and absent-minded. At school, he was said to frequently wander around with his mouth gaping open. He tried to learn the trade of shoemaking, but failed. His mother often considered him a nuisance and treated him harshly. He asked to become a Franciscan, but they initially would not accept him. Finally, Joseph joined the Capuchins, and eight, but eight months later, they sent him away. Joseph's mother was not happy to have 18-year-old Joseph back at home, so she got him accepted as a servant in the Franciscan monastery. After this, Joseph began to change. He grew in humility and gentleness. He was more careful and successful at work. He did more voluntary acts of penance. He fasted seven times of 40 days a year. Finally, he was able to enter the Franciscan order and study for priesthood. He had a hard time with studies. On the day of the seminary exam, the examiner happened to ask him the only thing he knew well, and so he was ordained a deacon, then a priest. After this, the Holy Spirit began to work miracles through St. Joseph. Seventy times, people saw him rise from the ground while offering Mass or praying. He was filled with, whenever he heard the name of the Lord, a church bell, or anything related to God, he was filled with ecstasy, and he would, he would be caught up talking with God. He became so famous with, because of his miracles, he had to be hidden from the public. But he, he didn't mind. He, he liked to be alone with God, and he believed Jesus would never left him alone, and will one day bring him up with, to heaven. St. Joseph of Cupertino died on September 1663. His feast day is September 18th. He was canonized by Pope Clement XIII in 1767. He's the patron saint of air travelers, pilots, and learning disabled. So, what is the lesson we learn from St. Joseph's life? St. Joseph found his studies hard, so he prayed, My kind protector, studying is very hard for me harsh and tiring. You can make it easy and pleasant. So, if I ever find a new subject hard, I should put my trust in God. He is a saint all students can follow as an example. Thank you.